Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a comment section to your Webflow site, which is fully customizable in the Webflow designer through the SuperSparks app. The best part is this solution is 100% no code and should only take two minutes to implement. You might be saying, well, if this only takes two minutes, why is this video longer than two minutes? Well, it's because I am also going to quickly show you how to enable member commenting through member stack and Webflow memberships. So when a logged in user comments, data such as username and profile image are automatically displayed on all of their comments. So this is not only great for adding a comment section to CMS pages for blogs or news articles, but also increasing engagement with your user base by enabling community discussions within your membership site. Okay, let's get this party started. Now, the first step is to sign up for the SuperSparks app if you haven't done so already, which you can find a link to in the description. And after I sign up, the next step is to authorize the site I want to add comments to. Then once that's done, we can create our first comment section by clicking Create Spark. Once we are on the installation screen, I am just going to select Start from Template. It says it only takes five minutes here, but I think if it's a non-membership comment section, it will take even less. So after I will see a collection of components or templates that I can simply copy and paste into my Webflow project. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, some of these are styled clones from well-known sites like Medium and IGN. And there are a few unstyled ones with different levels of functionality which are a much better starting point if you want to design the comment section to look however you want. Now, I am just going to select the full unstyled component. Then the next step is to copy the component. Then I am just going to paste it into my blog CMS template page. And then I can go back to SuperSparks and proceed to the subsequent installation steps. So once this is done, you will see that I jump ahead two steps in the installation process. And this is because these steps come pre-installed with the template I just selected. So the next step is to copy this code, then go to the blog CMS page settings, paste this code at the top of the body and then click save. Then I can get started customizing this to look however I want. So if I wanted to add some borders to the comment card, I could do that here. And then if I wanted to change the color of the submit button, I could also do this in the Webflow designer. And also if I wanted to make this a guest only comment section, I would probably want to remove the profile image element. Now, after we publish, we should be able to see the comment section in action. And as you can see, this template also has interactions for showing and hiding a reply form. And if I just post a comment as a guest, you will see the comment gets posted without needing to refresh the page. Now, I'm also just going to reply to the comment that I just posted. And as you will see, a reply gets posted underneath and you will kind of see that it looks quite similar to the comment card, but it's slightly indented to indicate that it's a reply. Then to cap this all off, there are a few other optional functions you can check out that weren't included with this template including configuring memberships, which I will get to next. Then the last step is to simply go live and you will see a few tips after that I encourage you to look through. Okay, now let's get started with an example for member commenting. And if you have no interest in this, feel free to stop watching this video. But if you might be interested in the community and spam prevention benefits of member commenting, feel free to stick around. For this example, I have already gone through the installation from the previous part of the video by pasting the IGN clone template to a CMS page for courses. And this is to hopefully spark up some discussions and participation within an online class environment. Also for this example, my user base will be in member stack. Now, if I want to automatically show the actual name of my users on comments, 
First, I am going to go to the settings of my comment section in SuperSparks and select member stack as my membership tool. Then I am going to go to member stack and I am just going to select the custom field for the name of the user and copy the element ID. Then I am going to go back to SuperSparks and the extra function section under the membership fields function. And then I am just going to paste this ID into the first input and click save. If you also wanted to show a username like this one, for example, which is Nick Cage Rules 461, who also happens to have the same name as me, you would again go to member stack and copy the custom field ID for username and paste it into the second input in SuperSparks and click save. Then since the username function is not yet on our template, we are just going to add a text element into our comment and reply card, style it however you want, copy this class from SuperSparks, and then we're just going to paste it into the newly created element. Then if your users are able to upload avatars or profile images on your website through MemberStack, these will automatically be shown in the profile image element here. So let's quickly see an example. So I'm just going to log in. And once I log in, I am just going to post a comment. And as you can see, the name, username, and profile image associated with my account gets automatically displayed on my comments. Now onto Webflow memberships. Webflow memberships is slightly different as the username and profile image functions will only work if the slugs in the membership settings in Webflow are identical to the ones in the membership fields extra function in SuperSparks. So as you can see, I am just going to make sure to change my profile image slug in my membership settings in Webflow to profile dash image. And let's do one more test on our medium clone. So I'm just going to post again while logged in through Webflow memberships and boom, there you have it. Now, if you were interested in also receiving comments from guests and members, I also suggest you set up conditional visibility to hide the name and email input fields to logged in users, as these fields will automatically be collected when a logged in user comments. And yeah, that pretty much sums it up. This tutorial was primarily focused on the template installation method, which is the fastest. But if you already have a comment section designed in Webflow, it might be easier for you to do the manual installation instead of the template installation. And I've already created a video with more details on how to do this, which you can find a link to in the description. Anyways, thanks for watching and take care.